Welcome back to Bees Blades. I'm Brian and welcome to first timers on this channel. The knife I've been waiting for has arrived and I'm ready to check it out. So let's get to it. <clears throat> I always like doing unboxings, but you know, it's kind of fun getting to do it with you guys. So hopefully I'm not tearing up anything. Here it is. This is going to be the Civivi Elementum button lock. And which side do I want to cut? All right. Been excited about this one and uh, I really like the colors. Um, and you know, I don't have an Elementum. And this is not the Elementum, this is the new Elementum. This is the Civivi Elementum button lock. Um, I pre-ordered this knife at Knife Center and it was released uh, on April 19th. Unfortunately, this version and every other button lock version I can find anywhere pretty much sold out immediately. So I will put links in the description. I know there's at least, at least one of the companies you can pre-order it and the other ones will notify you. And as far as I know, they are going to be coming back out in June. So. That's just a little bit of info for you guys. So if you've never opened a, a Civivi, you get this case with it. And you get a little insert, Civivi brand, gives you a little bit of information. You get a nice Civivi cloth, which is really nice for uh, wiping and clearing off your knife. And you get a couple stickers, which I'm getting a nice little collection because, well, Civivi, I keep going back. What can I say? Um, but let's go ahead and check this bad boy out. All right. Ooh, I'm excited. This is what the inside of your case looks like. It's nice and soft. Get the stuff out of the way. And I did not go with the typical micarta version because they had one with my favorite colors. And I went for the fancy schmancy one. Check that out. Red carbon fiber scales. Look at that. Here's the back side. I always try to take time so you guys can check out what it looks like up close before I just start zipping around. And here's your top. Let's see. What does our blade centering look like? Looks pretty darn centered to me. There's your. Oh, check it out. Even have uh, the back spacer. This. Not sure if that's the same material or not. And, while well, I can already tell, you don't have the big hole in the side, taken away from the look of the knife, but you do have a lanyard, a spot for your lanyard right here. We'll get into that here in a minute. So, let me see how much this bad boy weighs, and we'll just get right into it. All right. Glad to have you guys along. I've got plenty of more knives to do unboxing, so stick around. It will be coming very soon. So if I can get some of the glare away here, I can't. 3.15. And that's really good considering the blade is longer, is like three and a half inches. So that's, that's really good. All right, so let's go over some specs of this bad boy. Let's open it up and see what this Damascus blade looks like. Look at that. Man, that is a sharp knife. This is like a showman's knife. I'm not real big on Damascus. Um, I'll talk a little bit more on this here in just a minute. But let's check out the length of the blade. Now, their measurements say they're, that the blade is 3.47, and it looks like they are counting all the way to the top of the bolster right here. But your sharpened edge is just over three inches. Um, pretty much right at about, just about three and a quarter inches for your sharpened, sharpened edge. The total length is coming in at just a hair, just a hair under eight inches. You see right here. So there's that. So you've got, this, this is their hand forged domestic steel with a straight pattern. Uh, according to, to Civivi, each piece is unique 
And it's hard to, to find what their Damascus is made out of. And what I have found so far is that it's 9CR18 MOV as the core, and then it has a softer rust resistant layer. Um, they're claiming anywhere from 58 to 60 HRC. So I don't know, I guess that will come out at one point or another. Blade thickness of 0.18 or 0.12. And they're actually saying 0.118, so 0.12, same thing. It's a nice thin blade stock. Got a drop point style blade with a hollow grind. And I can already tell this, this puppy is going to be sharp and easy to sharpen. Let's take a look at the factory edge. Looks pretty clean. Can you see it? So there's what the Damascus looks like. You know, I don't even know if I own a Damascus, Damascus blade or not. Well, I do now. So how about that? So what else we have here? Move it into the center. So overall, you have the red carbon fiber for your uh, scales. Uh, the handle thickness is 0.43 inches, and your liner material is stainless steel, and your lock is a button lock right here, and right here you can see is your button. We'll go right up here where we can see it. When that pushes in, it disengages so your blade can fall, and I'll grab my flashlight here in a second, give you a look on the inside of there. So, let's check. Absolutely, absolutely no rock or blade play whatsoever. It has caged ceramic ball bearings. And let's check out the pocket clip. Deep carry pocket clip. And the screws are recessed, which is very, very nice. I like their pocket clips. They're, they're right in line with the knife, so that's always nice. I, I don't really care for it when... You, if you guys have watched my videos, when they just shoot straight up to the sky, so they scrape your hand and the wall and your car and everything else you walk past, right? So, oh, and this is reversible. So this is, you know, pretty much ambidextrous knife, you know? Um, some people prefer with their thumb, but, you know, if you're a lefty, you can use your index finger just as well. So I don't think that's going to be any issue there. Uh, let's see, the back spacer, I'm pretty sure is carbon fiber also. And you've got this hidden lanyard post, which is really nice. So, like I said, it doesn't take away from the look of the knife. So, next we'll check out some uh, deployment ergos and do some size comparisons for you. If you're still watching and like getting new knife content, unboxings, and full reviews at least twice a week, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified so you don't miss out on the knives and the reviews headed your way on Bees Blades. Um, I've got follow-up and full reviews. Uh, they're posted after I carry and use and or sharpen the knives. Um, it's not just, hey, this is what it is, and I'm assuming this is a good knife. I will carry it. I will use it, sharpen it, and tell you uh, what I think about it. Hot spots, good, bad, sweet, sour, all that good stuff. So I only ask once. There you go. Um, let's check out the deployment. So I know there's not a whole lot of options with this. You know, you guys know I like a fidget knife. And this is pretty much a button lock, so there you go. So, can I get used to this? Okay, now I see. So, once you get down to the bottom, I can see this is going to be a learning curve just like every other knife, like we talk about. So, it's going to be a matter of getting used to it shutting. And once you get to about right here, it... gets to a point where it pretty much shuts for you. That's going to take some getting used to. But, you know, obviously you've uh, got no, no friction. It's easy to open. Obviously, if you're holding it upwards, it's going to fall right shut for you. Now, I'm wondering. Oh, look at there. Look at there. Found another way. So, if you push the button, you can do a reverse flick. Really easy, just with your finger on the, the side of the spine right here. So there is another way to open it up. You, and it's really easy. Nothing to it. So I thought there was only going to be one way to open it. Found another one. But, you know, if you want to use your knife, get it out. Chop up whatever. Cut down a couple trees. 
That is pretty nice back in the pocket. I gotta say, that's not too bad. Um, man. Man, I'm gonna really be fooling with this one. Now, see, you can, with a little bit of practice, you're gonna be able to shut that and make it shut every time, just like that, nice and smooth. You just give it a little bit. With it, you won't get that bounce. So, I'm sure by the time you get my review, I will have this puppy down pat. It's very, it's very smooth. I mean, you know, like, look at that. No problem. That's pretty nice. Let's do, let's do some uh, size comparisons. Get an idea of what this looks like compared to some other knives. All right, let's go in here and see what some other knives look like next to the Civivi button lock. All right, here is the Kershaw Highball XL. And I have a video posted if you're interested in this knife. This is a new release by Kershaw. So you can see the blades are pretty close. There's the highball. And I got to show another Civivi, one of my favorites, the Civivi Riffle. And, you know, all in all, the blade lengths are pretty, pretty close. You have a little bit more sharpened edge on the Riffle, but not much. Not much at all. It's got a little deeper belly. Let's check out a couple more. Um, I recently posted a video on the Ortis, which, you know, I'm late to the game when it comes to Civivi, but hey. So here is the Ortis, which I am enjoying. Been bugging my wife with uh, constant deployment of it. So it looks like your uh, sharpened edge is a little bit longer on the new Civivi. So that's pretty cool. Um, here is, here's a couple more. Here is a Sencut Scepter. And you can see this is a, looks like a little bitty knife. You know, you got a nice, nicer handle with the Civivi. We'll go over the Ergos here in just a second. And here's one of Civivi's bigger knives, the Insight, which is a big boy. And let me bring that down for you. So there's the Insight. And you know, overall, the blade length isn't a whole lot different. You just have a lot, a lot deeper, a lot higher uh, blade profile there. We'll just go over a couple more in case you have one of these knives. It'll give you an idea of the size of this. So here is the Tenacious. My first knife in the knife in the $50 range. So it is actually longer than the Tenacious. And we'll do two more. Here's the QSP Penguin, which it's a little shorter and you get a got a shorter handle there. And one more, last but not least. The one that you either hate it or you love it. Kaiser Cormorant. Okay. How does it feel in the hand? Let me go back out here. You know, hmm. Looks like it doesn't really have a, a forward choil at all. Um, I will say that that's not too bad of a sharpening choil. Some of the knives I've, I've been getting lately, I'm like, eh, it's a little lacking. You know, you sharpen it twice, you end up with a smile up here at the, uh, at the slope. So that's not too bad. You can easily ch uh, choke up here. The blade is not coming, coming at me. So choking up is not going to be an issue. And I have, uh, medium, I have medium to large hands. Uh, I have shorter fingers, but I have beefy hands. So pretty much a large glove. And I have plenty left over. So if you have extra large hands, you're going to be just fine. So there's what it looks like in your hand. And we've got some jimping up top here. You can see right here. And it is the jimping is not aggressive, but it's very nice. It does it does grab your uh, your finger, grabs your thumb, gives you some traction. I'm not getting any bite from the inside. You know, so far so good. Because, man, a lot of these knives lately, you get on the inside of the scales or the inside of the liner and you're like, ugh. So, speaking of liners, let's see what it looks like. Um, let me see if you guys can see this. So, our liners are milled out really well on the inside. You can see that they're lined. They're, let's see, we've got both sides. We are milled out on both sides, so that's helping out with that light weight. I was surprised with how lightweight it is. Do this for you. That's not helping. Eh. That's all right. There you go. You can see it there. 
And there you go. You can see it well enough. But, you know, choking up doesn't feel bad. It feels pretty good. Um, let's see what it looks like in the pocket. Get my old pair of jeans out here. Let's see what it looks like in the pocket. There you go. I mean, that's a nice clean clip. I really like it. And I like this color too. You know, oh, so uh, going back to being able to order this, you can get this in uh, the Micarta and it's a lot cheaper. This one here was uh, $108, but you can get it in the $60 range. Um, I think it's uh, about $66, I think is what it is for the, uh, the brown Micarta and the green Micarta. And I believe there might be a tan Micarta. And if I'm not mistaken, you can get the black blade and the, uh, the I believe it's satin coat or the satin blade. This is the, the most expensive of, of the models, but I got this simply because I wanted a, a fancier looking knife and I really like that it has my favorite colors of black and red. Give you guys a little better look at that. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Bees Blades. And also, if you ever want to contact me, Instagram is great. Um, you, can, you can direct message me there. You can also send me an email, beesblades at gmail.com. I will put that in the description along with a link to Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. So there is my first look at the Civivi Elementum button lock. Um, so far, I don't have a whole lot bad to say. Um, I wish there were more um, opening options. But, you know, this is, it's pretty fidgety. I don't think it's going to be a problem. A special thanks to all my subscribers. Um, thank, thank you. You make the channel what it is, and it'll only get better. Have a great day, and do me a favor. Don't cut yourself.